Okay, this video is the 2021 Ancestry DNA ethnicity results. And uh, let me give you some background. And after we'll go to the results, but I'll leave you with a timestamp right now to that. I call this video Cuban Ancestry DNA results as my parents were Cuban, but their ancestors were European and I'm American born, first generation American. I opted for this title. So um, I don't add any qualifiers. I'm not interested in that. So the Genie Blogger did a review of my 2021 results video, and I found it fun and interesting to hear his thoughts on it. So I'm doing this update on the heels of that. My purpose in all of this was to document my ancestors and DNA cousin matching is a helpful tool for that. So that's why I initially took the test. My family left Cuba in the 1960s due to the communist dictatorship on the island and they settled in Miami, and the broader community is called the Cuban exile community. Their intent was to return to a free Cuba, which has not happened in over 60 years. Since the 60s, Cubans and their American descendants have become businessmen, lawyers, doctors, politicians, actors, uh, heads of companies such as Coca-Cola as an example. And despite being such a tiny minority, they've done pretty well. My father was born in 1942 in Aguada de Pasajeros, Las Villas, Cuba. His father was from Maliano in Cantabria, Spain, and his mother was the daughter of a Cuban mother and an Italian Cuban father. In 1962, my dad was 20 years old and he had been arrested and beaten multiple times for his opposition to the dictatorship. His parents sent him to Miami, where within a few months, Eloy J. Escajedo Giraldi joined the army. I have a video on his story, which I'll link in the description. My mother was born in Colón, Matanzas, Cuba in 1951 and left with her parents and sister in the 1960s as well, settling in Miami. Her paternal side was from Malaga and her maternal side was from the Canary Islands. My folks met here in Miami as both of their mothers worked at the same sewing factory. If you'd like to learn more about my mother's story, I have a video that I'll link in the description as well. For the generations before my parents on my paternal side, my grandfather came to Cuba September 11th, 1930 from the port of Santander to Havana on the Cristobal Colón ship. He was born in Maliano, Cantabria, Spain in 1911. His parents, my great grandparents were Patricio Feli Escajedo Salmón and Eloisa Valle Fernandez. Felix's parents were Diego Millán Escajedo Mier and Balbina Salmón Escajedo. Eloise's parents were Santiago Valle and Ventura Fernandez Bustamante, all of them from Cantabria, Spain, and I have more generations with paperwork, including baptism records, civil birth registries, and marriage records. I made a deep dive research video on my direct paternal line, and I'll link that as well. My paternal grandmother was born in Aguada de Pasajeros, Cuba in 1911. Her father was Felix Giraldi Hernandez, whose father Domingo was Italian and his mother Facunda Hernandez Mendez was Cuban. My grandmother's mother, Romalda Alvarez Gonzalez, was born in Cuba in 1887, and I was able to meet her when I was young here in Miami. On my maternal side, my grandfather was Luis Gutierrez Jimenez, and he was born in Banaguises, San Jose de los Ramos, Matanzas, Cuba, in 1921. His father, Antonio, was born in Cuba to parents born in Andalusia, and my grandfather's mother was Francisca Jimenez Lavado, born in Vélez, Malaga, Spain. I was also able to meet my great-grandmother here in Miami. My maternal grandmother was born in San Jose de los Ramos, Matanzas, Cuba, and her parents were both Canary Islanders. Her father was Juan Santiago Jimenez Gil, born in Santa Cruz de Tenerife in 1888, and Maria Yanes Hernández, born in Los Portales, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria in 1895. So if I were to divide my origins into four parts to represent my grandparents' ancestral origin, I'd be Cantabrian, Italian Cuba, Andalusia, and the Canary Islands. So my 2021 results are Spain, 82%, Portugal, 10%, England and Northwest Europe, 3%, Ireland, 2%, Wales, 2%, Basque, 1%. So for Spain, the obvious thing is that just about all my lines that I look at come from Spain in the last hundred or so years with the exception of one Italian branch that is not represented in my current update. 
and the remaining Cubans are likely of Iberian origin. So apparently I'm very Spanish. I already knew that. For Portugal, I will say that there's a couple of things that I've learned. For one, through my Canary Island lines, I have some Portugal surnames that I've traced as being likely Portuguese in origin. And this includes my Yanez line with the earliest ancestor being Joseph or Jose Yanez, my sixth great grandfather born circa 1760. And that's just one out of a few. There's also the possibility of uh, migration to the Canary Islands from the Azores. So I have cousin matches that trace back to the Azores as well from the 17, 1800s roughly. Those are a few possibilities. For the UK results, I have nothing to really place this. I do have plenty of cousin matches that are UK. And to tell the truth, I have a lot of German matches as well as French ones and just other locations that have a fair amount of shared Santa Morgans. I think there may be some historical possibilities through the Canary Islands populating Louisiana in the 1700s. Uh, many of those that settled married with other immigrants from other parts, you know, so... I have cousin matches that have strong connections to Louisiana as well. And through the genetic communities section, they've added me to the Cuba, Canary Islands, and Uruguay community. So that's a possible event in which UK could have come to me, at least one of many uh, events, but I'm not aware. And maybe there's back migration to the Canary Islands as well, or simply through Cuba, which were hubs. In reality, in my particular case, my previous generations document back to Europe. So I'm still trying to figure out these connections from unfamiliar places. And the where I land at going back in time, uh, just very overwhelmingly, is the Iberian Peninsula. But there could be other reasons. I do have plenty I can research through cousin matches. So that's ongoing. As for Basque, I have 1%, which makes sense, though I'd assume I'd have more in reality, but I won't touch on that further at the moment. Uh, needless to say, it makes sense. I will now address my missing Italian results, and none of this is a matter of what one wants or doesn't want. We have a brain. We use it. If we're interested in nuance and understanding, we take a look at things, and just that's how it works. So it's not by any criteria that or preference. It just This is observation. There's some issues with the uh, estimates, and I'll address those now. The key here is the word estimate, and there's plenty of literature out there to understand if one were inclined to do so. So just estimates, right? So for my missing Italian estimate, my great-grandfather was Felix Giraldi Hernandez. His father, Domingo Giraldi Focha, was Italian and migrated to Cuba. Felix's mother was Facunda Hernandez Mendez, born in Cuba. His brother, Benito's baptism record, names their parents and grandparents and so on. So there's paper trail, and I have more documentation as well. A second point to make about this missing Italian um, estimate. Through my cousin matches on Ancestry, I have matches that are fully Italian and sharing the same surnames in their trees. However, we are not sharing any ethnicities. The Santa Morgans we share are not being categorized with a particular location at all. And either a percentage of my results belong in their results or vice versa. But it can't just sit there as empty um, Santa Morgans. They exist, but they don't have a location. So I think it's just uh, an, an issue with the estimates. Not too worried about it because um, it's an estimate at the end of the day. But if you were to sit and think about what I just showed, you'd start to, um, you know, put two and two together. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you like. See you next time.